Now that we've looked at some examples of how we might use if-else statements as well as Boolean evaluations, uh, let's take a look at a real example here. So let's say we have a problem, and that problem is that we have a bunch of data for some products that we're selling. Maybe we're a company, maybe we're some kind of retailer that uh, is selling different products, but uh, we, have, uh, we have all of this data, but we don't actually have product titles. So we could think about how we might generate product titles using some kind of formula, but it would get complicated and kind of hard to follow. In addition, if we copy that same formula everywhere, every time we change it, we have to modify every one of these different values. So that's not exactly an ideal situation. But fortunately, with our script editor, we could actually take these color codes, these material codes, the type of item it is, and a size. We could actually build a product title out of that. So I'm going to come into my script editor, and I'm going to go ahead and create a function and I'm going to call that function uh, function gen product title. And this pro this is going to take a color code, a material code, a item type, and a size. And we're going to generate uh, different titles based on this. So let's go ahead and we'll say product functions. And let's give some documentation here. This function will generate a product title based on the inputs and we will go ahead and say at param color or at param number color code a color a number representing a color code for this product and we will use at param number material code, a number representing a material code for this product, and we'll use at param, uh, we'll say string item type, the type of item we are selling, and at param size, which will, uh, which will be string, the size of the item we are selling. And we are going to return a string, a descriptive product title. And we'll mark this as a custom function. And if we don't do anything and we come back in here and we use our, our uh, generate here we go gen product title we can see exactly how this is going to work it's kind of nice gives us all that documentation based on what we just built here so let's let's build this out so color code we have a couple of color codes here we have 0 1 2 and 3 let's say 0 is red so we'll say uh, var result and we'll start off with no, with no value we'll just uh, create an empty string here and we will say if color code equals zero result we'll add red to our string else if color code equals one we'll say that's the color code for blue else if color code equals two we'll say that's the color code for green else if color code equals three we'll say that's the color code for brown so we've already started something here if we return that result we can actually enter these so we'll go ahead and say gen product title and our parameters are going to be a2 a3 a4 oh it's going the wrong way here a2 b2 c2 and d2 and now we're just going to get red. So that's a start. But we can see what all of our different colors are this way. If we just paste all those, and you can see all of the different colors. So let's go ahead uh, and finish this. So we now have this block of ifs. Let's go ahead and separate that a little bit. And then we'll create another block of ifs. We'll say if material code. And we have a couple of different material codes here. We have uh, one and two. So we'll say if material code equals zero, result plus equals cotton, else if material code equals one, result plus equals polyester. 
and then we can add the item type so let's yeah let's go ahead and add the item tag next so uh, the item type pretty much is descriptive on its own so we can just add that result plus equal to item type and then size so we'll, we'll go ahead and expand that as well we'll say if size equals what sizes do we have here we have small medium large extra large and 2xl so if size is equal to s result plus equals uh, we'll say size small else if size equals m result plus equal size medium else if size equals l result plus equals size large else if size equals xl result plus equals size extra large and then one more else if size equals 2xl result plus equals size extra extra large now if we look at our now we have all these great titles red polyester shirt size small so we could even let's go ahead and put a comma in there I think the comma will look better there we go now we have all these so this is actually pretty descriptive and we can actually expand on this you know so we have all of these different sizes but let's say well somebody enters you know let's say we copy this row and somebody enters a material code we don't know about well now we're just cutting that piece out we don't even add that in so that's okay and if we we'll see the same if we create uh, a we'll go ahead and copy a record here and if we create a, a color code that we don't know about but we know about the so we can see that it's going to still work you know our if statement is written in a way that we've kind of looked at you know each of these and if we don't have a match we're not using that final else so we're not filling in some kind of default value here and that kind of looks nice here you know we could also expand this a little bit so that if somebody says instead of 2xl if somebody says xxl we can go ahead and let's make this a two and we'll say this is we have seven of these so let's copy this so now we see green polyester shirt but we don't see the size but we can change our function around a little bit we could say if size is equal to XL or size is equal to uh, oh wrong place here let's go ahead and put that where it goes or size equals XXL now if we come back and look at that you'll see we get that size added to it so that that's nice we can keep modifying our functions and expanding things maybe we have multiple ways to specify red maybe we also have color code uh, 6 is equal to red as well and maybe we have additional material codes we can kind of expand this so it allows us to kind of create these flexible if statements that can handle multiple cases using these more complicated evaluations as well as not entering anything by omitting that else so you can see that that gives us some pretty readable code some pretty modifiable code and uh, completes the problem that we or completes the solution to the problem that we have here thanks for watching